thank you for joining us. Uh, this is an information session about Flare, and we're really, really excited that we're going to be able to run Flare this year. We were a bit worried with COVID and everything that it might not have been going to happen, but it is, which is great. So today I just want to touch on a few of the key things that most people want to know about the program and then happy to answer any questions that you've got or yeah, anything that you can think of. So to start with, why we've created Flare. So there are, I guess, a variety of different programs already happening and particularly focused around female entrepreneurs. We know that, we run them ourselves, we've been part of them with other organisations. However, none of them specifically focus on those who want to take their business into an international market. So there are programs for that, exporter hubs and things like that, but they're not targeted specifically for women. Uh, so there just isn't anything that's covering both those bases. And then what we also add to this is that it's also particularly focused on businesses that are based in regional areas because there's unique challenges that happen if you don't live in a capital city beside an international airport where you can just go jump on a plane quite easily uh, and connect with the rest of the world. So we know that there's a variety of different challenges that come from operating a business in a regional area. We understand that because we do it and yeah, we want to bring all of those things together. So the other thing that we're really excited about with this particular program is the number of people that we have access to who are willing to give their time, share their expertise and their, I guess, experience in what they've done in terms of taking their own business into an international market. And quite a lot of our mentors and coaches are actually based in international countries. So they're on the ground, they're there, that's where they live, they work, they run their own businesses, they know what it's like in their country. And particularly when it comes to the cultural nuances, there's some things that you just can't learn until you've experienced it. However, if someone else has experienced it and is willing to share quite openly what their experience was like, the good and the bad, then you can certainly um, be quite a few steps ahead of where you would be just maybe reading about it online or doing some, you know, some desktop research type thing. Um, even when you go in country until you've been there for business, it's a different experience again. So going, you know, to Southeast Asia, for example, on holidays as opposed to going to do business is entirely different. And unless you've done it, uh, it can be challenging to know what those differences are. The other thing with uh, Flair, it's a cohort of five teams, so five businesses, and we don't uh, expect that those five businesses are necessarily going to fit any exact box. So they might be all at different life cycle stages. They might be operating in different markets, wanting to go into different countries. Some might be producing a physical product or a digital product or even a service. Um, we're not expecting anyone to sort of fit into a particular box to be part of this program in terms of what their business is or does. So long as you meet those basic three criteria that we're looking for, then we're happy for you to apply. So those three are that you have a female lead in your business. So that could be founder, co-founder, CEO, that you are aspiring to go into an international market. And that's a fairly uh, short term, like not a in 10 years time, but in the very near future. And you may be a startup looking to start global from day one, that's fine. Or you might be an existing business that's operating here in Australia and is now looking to go into an international market. So again, either of those are fine. And you need to be based in a regional area. So we know there's a lot of other programs that run you know, in, in bigger metropolitan cities uh, and that's great, but we're focused on those who are regional. If you feel that you're regional, that ticks the box for us. So we're not going to put a boundary that you have to be in a certain postcode, that you have to, you know, you're eligible, not eligible. Um, if you feel that your operation is regional and you reside in a regional area or, um, you know, if that, if that ticks the box for you, then it ticks the box for us. So Flair, uh, as I just said, those first three points, but it's a 16 week program. And it's a combination or a hybrid of delivery through residential and also virtual delivery. So for the first week and the last week, we'll be on site here in Toowoomba. And then three little blocks in between of about three days each will be on site as well. So it's about every four weeks that you'd be here in person. 
And the rest of the time, the program content will be delivered via Zoom, so online platform. And the vast majority of mentoring and coaching sessions will also be done online via Zoom. And that's because our mentors are all over the world. So even if you live here in Toowoomba, you'd probably still connect with them online. However, if you are in Toowoomba and our mentor is in Toowoomba or, you know, you both just happen to be in the same geographical location, then of course you're welcome to meet in person, but we're not expecting that anyone will travel to have their mentoring sessions. Uh, we also have an entrepreneur in residence who's joined us. So Ian Mason is our EIR and Ian He's a uh, very experienced entrepreneur in residence and very experienced entrepreneur. Uh, I actually did a podcast interview with him, which launched yes. this morning. <laughs> I listened to that this morning. Oh, very good. Excellent. Did you enjoy? Yeah, I couldn't find much on his um, rainbow education. No, it's a bit more um, focused on sort of business to business and businesses oh, yeah. ordering the textbooks and things. Uh, there. So yeah, I did have a bit of a search for it online myself. But yeah, when if you go to, I think it was Oxford, Oxford University Press or something like that, you can find all the books there. So oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, that no, was a good, good session. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for listening to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Ian started a number of businesses and different styles of business. And as his role as EIR for different incubators and accelerators around the world. He obviously brings a lot of experience there too. And, oops, sorry, I didn't disable the waiting room. There we go. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, so his experience extends for, across a variety of different uh, industries and platform delivery of incubators and accelerators as well. So at the moment, he's been working with QUT Creative Enterprises Australia, so in Brisbane, and they run a food program, they run a fashion program, as well as their general program. Uh, he's also worked through an incubator and accelerator in regional New South Wales, so he has that experience. He is from the UK, he's got a lot of connections over there, he used to work in government, and he was also a co-founder of Virgin Startups, um, which is one of Sir Richard Branson's uh, organisations. So he's got a lot of experience, a lot of international connections, has lived in several countries as well, has a young family, understands the challenges of doing business while managing expectations. So yeah, there's uh, a lot of value that he brings. So we're really excited to have Ian on board. We also have Imogen King, who's joined us as our incubator support. And Imogen has quite a bit of experience in the food space as well, and also throughout China. So we're really glad to have her on board. And then myself and David. Uh, so for those of you who don't know David Macefield, he's with us as well as the president of Canvas Coworking. And he'll be looking at making sure that everyone has the connections and partnerships that they're looking for throughout the program. He's got a global network of people and he'll be reaching out wherever required to make sure that we've given you the best possible opportunity of getting to talk to the person that you need to talk to in whichever country or industry sector that you're wanting to work with. So that is uh, the, a bit about the team. In terms of the incubator and what you'll learn, it is very much focused on three core elements. So one is around skill development. So making sure that you know how to do something that you're going to need to do and that you feel confident and capable. Also around behaviors. So making sure that you're looking after yourself as well as your business and not sacrificing one in favor of the other, which entrepreneurs can tend to do. And also connections. So very much focused around the network development, making sure that you're reaching the people that you need to reach and that you know how to do that, both from a cultural perspective and a professional perspective, making sure that that's quite balanced. Because we know that often when we're looking to make an introduction or uh, reach into a different part of a network that we perhaps aren't all that experienced in, we have to make sure that we understand what is the norm for, for that um, you know, that little bubble of the world uh, and whether it might be 
really important for you to jump on a plane post COVID and, and go meet them in person or whether an email or a Zoom call or something like that is going to be sufficient to start. Um, you know, all of those things can vary depending on where you're going and what you're doing, but making those connections well from the beginning is really important to us. So we wanna help you do that as well. So the next thing that I wanted to touch on um, is who are we looking for? So I've mentioned regional uh, with a female lead. I do just wanna highlight that this isn't a women's only program. This program is open for men and women to participate. We are not saying, you know, it's limited to any anyone in your team. Your whole team is welcome to come along. There just has to be a female in the lead of the organisation. If that person doesn't, um, you know, if it's not appropriate for them to come to all of the sessions, that's fine. They can uh, send a representative from the team. You know, it might be the co-founder or you know, a chief technical officer, whatever is appropriate. However, there just needs to be a, a woman in the lead there. Um, also, it's not necessarily for those who already run a business. So you might have an idea for a business, a well-formed idea, but it may require validation before you take it you know, too much further. That can certainly be something that you work on throughout the program, so long as that international aspect is there. So you're validating that there's an international market for this new idea. If your business has been running for a while here domestically and now you're looking to go into an international market, obviously it's still going to require validation. We're going to have to make sure that there is a market for you to go to and that they want what it is, what it is that you're offering uh, and obviously how you communicate that. So there's a lot to learn, we understand, but we don't mind whether you're uh, in the startup phase or if you're actually a, an already trading business. Uh, similarly, we don't mind if you have a physical product or a digital product, if you're manufacturing something, if you're you know, acquiring something and, and providing it, uh, if you have a service. Um, also, whether you're looking to sell this product direct to your customer or whether you're looking for a third party reseller of your product, that's fine as well uh, and often encouraged, um, but you could be looking to do both and that's also quite acceptable for this program. You do have to be obviously ready to put the time into this. And when we say the time, it's not actually the time into the program because everything you're going to do through the program is focused on your business. So it's, are you ready to put around about seven to 10 hours a week into working on this new international part of your business? Because if you're not quite there yet, then this round of the program won't be for you. You won't get enough value from it unless you can actually apply the time. So some of that time will be you learning, developing your skills, and some of that time will be applying those skills. Depends on where you are as to how much of that you're going to have to balance either way. But please consider that it's all about working on your business. You need someone else perhaps to be working in your business so you can work on it. If you don't already have that, then finding that balance is going to be perhaps a little bit challenging, not to say impossible, but you're gonna to have to really think about that from a time perspective for yourself to make sure that you'll get the value from the program to support you in working on it. And of course, the other thing that we're looking for um, always are additional mentors. So we have a wide variety of people already on our list covering a range of different sectors, range of different countries. Obviously, there's lots of countries in the world and there's lots of things you can potentially be doing. Uh, however, if you're listening to this and you think you'd actually like to be a mentor with us or a coach with us, then please reach out and let us know as well where you are and what you do and what your background and expertise is and we can definitely pop you on the list. Um, just on that note, all of the program content will be curated to what the teams need. So there's no guarantee that if you're on our list as a mentor that we'll actually need you because we might not have anyone looking to operate in the sector that you're in or the country that you're in or with the particular skills that you have. So thank you, um, happy to have you on our list, but we may or may not require you um, in during the program. Um, now to participate in FLAIR, uh, you will need to submit an application. So we are only able to take five teams through this program. 
and it will be a competitive process. So initially it's an online application form for you to fill in all of the details about yourself and your team and what you're working on and where you want to go in the world and what you're wanting to do. Also how you feel we could help you. So what is it that you're looking for support particularly with? that you recognise within yourself. We might recognise a few extra things, but we'll, we'd like to know what you think. And then from there, we'll shortlist the applications down to invite a number of teams to come along to a selection boot camp. And that's a two day event happening in early August. So we won't make you wait too long. So early August, two days on Thursday and Friday, the I'm going to say the 7th and 8th, but it might be the 6th and 7th, whatever the Thursday and Friday is at the end of the first week of August is uh, the dates for the boot camp and that will be here in Toowoomba and we will need you to attend in person and it is preferable that your team can attend or at least a couple of your team who are likely to be involved in the program so that we can get to know you all. One of the things that we're really really aware of is the fact that there's a lot of personalities in the world and we want to make sure that we can work with you and similarly we want you to feel comfortable and confident that you can work with us. So meeting you and your team is really important to us to make sure that there's a good uh, fit, a good gel there, uh, as well as learning more about your business, what you're wanting to achieve and do we actually have the skills and the resources to be able to support you in doing that. So if you're looking to do something that is way outside of the scope of what we know we have in our panel of mentors and coaches um, and where you're looking to go, then, you know, obviously if we can't help you, we'll let you know. But we're pretty diverse, so I think we should be right mostly. Um, so once we go through that selection boot camp, we'll be narrowing our, um, our applicants down to our final five and making offers for them to participate in the program. The actual incubator itself commences on Monday the 31st of August with a five day residential. So we will expect you to be here that whole week of the 31st of August through till the Friday. Then after that, we go into the weekly masterclasses and mentoring sessions that will be done virtually. And then we'll come back together again at the very end of August, uh, September and October, November. Yeah, so August, September, October, November. Uh, and then we come together again for a, a four day, well, a full week uh, in December. And during that, we will have a showcase day and there'll be two parts to the showcase day. So there'll be a luncheon with specially invited guests that we've discussed with you that you would like to have in the room if possible or online if not. And they're the ones who may be, you know, key partners that you're looking to engage with, key customers that you might be looking to bring, um, bring on before you launch if you haven't launched already. They might be uh, government um, department uh, personnel, a whole range of different people that you may want to have in the room to hear your presentation. So we'll be curating the luncheon and then in the evening it will be a celebration time. So we'll also get you to do your presentation to the broader community in the evening as well as let your hair down afterward and relax and enjoy the time and obviously invite any family or friends or anyone that you would like to come and uh, see you present and also celebrate with you. So we'll be keen to do that. So that is the 16th of December. And then we'll have another day after that uh, just to debrief and wrap up and work out what your next steps are going to be and make sure that you're moving forward um, post the incubator program. So there's a lot in all of that, I realise, um, and there's more information available on our website. So if you haven't checked that out already, canvascoworking.com.au forward slash flare. That's where you can find the application form to fill in. It is a bit of a form. We do want to know a, quite a bit about you. So don't feel that you've got to, um, you know, jump, jump on and, and just fill in your name and address um, and that will be enough. So allocate yourself a bit of time to work through it and maybe have a look before you submit and uh, go back and review anything because that's what we'll be basing our initial application assessment from is what you put into that form. We will, of course, um, stalk you a little online. So make sure your LinkedIn profile is spruced up and we'll also be looking to connect with anyone that we think may know you that you might want to ask a few questions. So be sure to you know, put all the effort that you can into the application form. 
And if you've got any questions, either about the application form or about the program, uh, particularly if you're watching the recording of this today, then feel free to email us at flare at canvascoworking.com.au and we'll happily get in touch with you and answer your questions uh, that you have. So for now, just happy to answer any questions that you might think of or thought of uh, or have jotted down that we haven't covered already. And yeah, happy to, to answer away. This program sounds huge. Oh my gosh. It's real up on, um, on ramp, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's definitely a step up. So on ramp, uh, for anyone who's listening, is a two and a half hour a week program delivered online that we do as well for anyone who's looking to start a business, but not necessarily international, that could be, but that's not the focus of it. And we do bring in some experts throughout that program. But yeah, this is this is uh, definitely bigger than on ramp. Yes, mm, for sure. I was sort of thinking about it, but yeah, I won't have enough annual leave to uh, dive headlong into this one, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it sounds yeah. like a, yeah a really awesome time. What do you think the, um, the main differences in content? Uh, obviously the international stuff, uh, but what sort of, what extra things are there going to be a focus on in difference to on-ramp? Yeah. So additional things that we'll be focused on compared to our sort of regular suite of accelerator programs that we run for different sectors are around international connections. Also around understanding if you're actually have a physical product, what that means in terms of distribution, packaging, um, networks on in country. Uh, so making sure that you understand logistics in country if you're going to be setting up any sort of warehousing, looking at foreign currency and what that can potentially do to your business, both in the supply chain and also in your sales and distribution. Um, looking at various different uh, requirements for insurances and licensing and policies making sure as well that when you're looking at going into a market that you understand um, you know the, the validation part so what that market already has available uh, where you may fit within there and how your unique value proposition may need to alter from what it is currently if you're already operating in Australia to what it might need to be in country so and also you know some people may be looking to take their business into a global setting so not just one country specifically or any you know couple of countries specifically but um, going you know into a more global network and what that looks like and how that can be managed uh, also a lot around culture and and you know, relationships, um, relationship building, networking as well. That's something that we're going to heavily focus on. And that's why with the residential components, we are like, obviously, if you live here in Toowoomba, you go home um, and sleep. But there is an expectation that at least a few nights during that week, you'll be able to, you know, stick with us from 9am till 9pm and, you know, come out for dinner, um, meet people, you know, have conversations in that type of setting rather than just in a formal, you know, meeting type setting because a lot of business, particularly internationally, but even here domestically, a lot of business is done after the meeting. So getting used to that, what does that look like? How do you deal with that? Um, how do you make those initial connections turn into a, a business relationship? Um, you know, what follow through is required and, and practising all of that. And then the other part that is, I guess, particular because of the residential components for those who um, have, you know, perhaps children or pets or, you know, other businesses or things that they may have to leave behind if they've got to go somewhere. So to a residential initially, um, if you have to be away for, you know, three or four days in a row, what, what support structure do you need at home in order to be able to make sure all of those things keep going whilst you're not there? And this is a really good opportunity to test that because you're not on the other side of the world. So if something drastic does happen, you probably can get home. We don't want you to have to, but you know, you probably can where if you were, you know, in the U S or the UK or somewhere like that, you probably can't just pop home to sort something out if it's going wrong. So it's a really good proving ground for people and, you know, make sure their plants are still alive when they get home or whatever else they need to, to be sorting. Um, so that's another difference from, from on-ramp. 
Yeah, cool. And does the program have a cost associated? No, so we've been able to secure funding from the Australian government as well as the state government. Uh, so Australian government via the Incubator Support Program and the state government through the Advancing Regional Innovation Program. And between those and the funds that Campus Coworking is putting in itself to make this program run, uh, we don't have to charge participants to play. And also we're not taking any equity. Uh, we will be looking at investment and what that means and whether or not that's something you need or want to take on. And, and again, you know, how, how far into that um, you'll go will depend on your own goals and aspirations. However, during the program and as a participant in the program, we're not investing in you in, in that way. So we're not taking any equity. Yeah, cool. Wow. Sounds like it's going to have a whole lot of value. Um, I'm a little bit sad that I'll probably miss out on um, all the awesome uh, stuff around overseas sales though. Um, do you think you'll end up packaging up uh, like some of the, the lectures from the course and putting it into something else? Yeah, potentially. I mean, we hope to run this program again. So this is a pilot for us and our goal is to run it, learn, you know, what, what works and what doesn't work uh, and adjust and, and run it again in the future. Uh, obviously, depending on demand, you know, how quickly that will be. Um, if though you're thinking that it could be a challenge for you to be able to participate because you have a day job, which we understand, um, if there's a team and you can tag team and come to different things, you don't both have to be there all the time. So you could potentially have that ability to, um, you know, to send one or the other of you if that could possibly work as well. Um, and with the online component, obviously, some of that will be set at particular times, like masterclasses where the whole cohort will be there and we'll have a, um, a guest presenter. That will need to be at a fairly set time, although those sessions will be recorded, but you get the value from attending in person of being able to talk with the presenter, uh, who will also be a mentor for the program. Uh, however, the one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions and coaching sessions will be able to be at a flexible time so they'll be arranged when you know each party is mutually available so yeah cool oh thanks so much joy really appreciate it no worries that's fine and there was someone else that dropped in online but i'm not sure that i can see them so uh they might have dropped in and dropped out so um yeah but if anyone uh, who's watching has any other questions please feel free i'll just drop that slide back there Feel free to email us, so flair at canvascoworking.com.au or else you can visit canvascoworking.com.au forward slash flair and read through some more information on the site. We've also put up a link to some of the frequently asked questions that we've been getting. It's a live document, um, so you can click that link and go through and read the questions and answers. And then, of course, if you still don't have the answer that you're looking for, then by all means, reach out and let us know and we'll give you a call and, and have a chat about it.